This is an educational video. Class 7, Patanjali Rishikul, Subject Science, Chapter 14, Motion and Time. Now children, today in this chapter, we are going to study about a simple pendulum. So what is a pendulum? A pendulum is a body suspended from a fixed point so that it can swing back and forth under the influence of gravity. That is, with the help of gravity, it can move to and fro. So any suspended body, as you can see in the picture, the balls or the bodies that are suspended from a string or a thread, they are called as pendulum. You must have seen the pendulum in a clock also. So a pendulum clock is a clock that uses a pendulum that is swinging weight as its time. Okay, to depict the time. So it swings back and forth in a precise time interval and it depends on the length of the pendulum. You can see in the picture, children, a pendulum is hanging with the help of a rod. So the length of this rod decides the time interval. So this is called a pendulum clock. Okay. Now, what is a simple pendulum? A simple pendulum consists of a small metallic ball that is called as bob. It is suspended by a light string that is hanged from a rigid support such that you can freely move the pendulum to and fro. Now this to and fro motion of the pendulum is called as oscillatory motion. Just like the swing. You must have seen this, the movement of the swing children. So what is oscillatory motion? The to and fro movement of the pendulum, it is called as oscillatory motion. Now the time period or the time interval is fixed in this oscillatory motion of a simple pendulum. That is why we call it as periodic oscillatory motion. Now children, the time taken by the pendulum to complete one oscillation is called as time period. You can see the picture of the simple pendulum. So there is a metallic ball called as bob. Just see the figure of simple pendulum that is figure A in which you can see a metallic ball that is hanged by a long thread. So this metallic ball is called as bob. Now children, just see the second picture. When we take this pendulum to position B and we leave it from there, so it will start swinging. It will go from the position B to C crossing the position A. So when the pendulum is not moving, this rest position or the center position that is depicted by A in the picture is called as its mean position. And the position B from which the pendulum is released is called as position B, that is extreme position. So when we will release the pendulum from position B, it will go till another extreme position that is C. So B and C are the extreme positions. Now, one oscillation will be complete when this pendulum will move from B to C, and then again, it will come to A. So then we will say that it has completed one oscillation. Now, if we calculate 
the time period. What is time period? The time taken by the pendulum to complete one oscillation is called as time period. The time period of pendulum does not depend on the size or the mass of the pendulum that is its bob. So it does not depend on the size or the mass of the bob but it depends on the length of the pendulum that is length of the string and earth's gravity. So children we have seen the structure of a simple pendulum and that what kind of motion it shows and the factors on which the time period depends. So in our next video we will learn that how we calculate the time period of a simple pendulum. Thank you.